First, I offer obeisances to my Gurudev, Nitya Prabhupada Vishnu Pad. Ashto Toro Sachi Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Srila Bhamana Goswami Maharaj and Nitya Prabhupada Vishnu Pad. Ashto Toro Sachi Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj and Jalotet Seat I offer infinite Dhanavad Pranams. Then Nitya Lila Prabhupada Vishnu Pad, Ashto Toro Sachi Srimad Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj and all the all the sannyasis, respected sannyasis sitting on the stage, all the mothers, all the gentlemen, those who are here to listen Harikata. To everybody who is feet, I offer my Dhanavat Pranams. May you all accept it. Till now, in, in, in Hindi and English, you have heard about the glories of this place. This place is called Godrum Island, Godrum Dui. In, in Bangla, Gadigacha meaning, there is a place, this this like a special meaning of this place name. This Godrum Island, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, when he was doing Navdeep Dham Parikrama in the scripture, he explained beautifully. If someone comes to this place, all their sins and offenses are destroyed, 100%. This place is called Go Drum. Go meaning, you heard the meaning of Go. Go meaning cow. And Drum meaning tree. Meaning, this word meaning, here Indra, he grabbed the lotus feet of Mother Surbi, cow. And he came here to repent his offenses to, and he did a lot of austerities. The katha that you have done, have you have heard in Dwapar Yog? Indra, Dwapar Yog, Krishna. He wanted to stop, make the Brajwasi stop worshipping Indra. So Indra, he caused uh, trouble on Brajwasis. He rain, he caused the heavy, heavy rain in Braj. We have to all know this about Katha. Depending on this Krishna, for for this regard, Krishna for seven days and seven nights, he lifted up Giriraj Govardhan. But when when Indra realized that Krishna is not an ordinary child, is not an ordinary God. I mean, he's God. And after realizing his offense, Indra, he, he went to his father Brahma and started to pray. How can I be free from this biggest offense that I've committed? Then Brahmaji said, Indra, you have committed a big, big offense. I all I have also suffered this situation. Once upon a time, I I thought that Krishna is an ordinary child, but and I abducted his friends and calves of Krishna, and then later I realized he is not this uh, ordinary child. Do one thing. The, the cow mata surbi if you go and grab the lotus feet of that cow surbi and and you pray to god for forgiveness then he might forgive you then indra he to pray to surbi he he came to in front of god and started to glorify then god became pleased all this katha has been explained in Srimad bhagavatam then indra of Krishna and then he gave Krishna the name Govinda but Indra he was thinking I am an offender what is the solution to repent this offense Indra Indra he came to this place and worship uh, Kao. You all heard, if you come to this place, all the offenses and sins, they go away. They get destroyed. So this Navdeep Dham is called, is like a place that destroys sins. So all the sins that you have, all the offenses that you have, the old offenses, they disappear, they go away. For this regard, Indra, 
he with, he came with mother surbi and he did a perform hard at austerity script and his offense and he sat under the uh, under a banyan tree and he did a set for this regard this place is called go dhum dui go means cow dhum means tree so this place is also called so when indra he was doing austerity is krishna himself he came in front of him and said this dham is this is the divine transcendental place this place is called gaur dham radha van like a forest where shri mati radhika wanders and forest where shri mahaprabhu wanders so this is divine divine transcendental place and it all offenses go away in this place then krishna said the kali yuga is coming in the kali yuga i will appear in form of goranga and i have a, i in this incarnation of mahaprabhu goranga i have taken vow through naam sankirtan i will deliver all the living entities from this world and you you will become a part of this movement and you will give uh, the glories of holy names to everyone you will chant the holy names then in krishna he he and then indra took darshan of goranga form of krishna then indra he appeared in the goranga mahaprabhu's past times as well this place is very very special chaitanya mahaprabhu here nearby near there was the nearby saraswati river it's so near on the banks of the river he crossed the river and used to come here and he used to dance in ecstasy and do kirtan you all just heard this place is also called bhandirwad it is also called nandagaon nandagaon it's called nandagaon the special glory of this place is like this it's so beautiful he used to did do bhajan and sadhana sad here we'll go sorbi kunj that place you all just heard in godrum nityanand nadia godrum nityanand mahajan pati ache namatan divira kadan here bhakti vinod thakur He did a beautiful kirtan. He used to dance in ecstasy, and he go from a house. He like created a marketplace of holy names, and he used to invite everyone there. And Bhakti Vinod Thakur himself in the market of holy names, and he used to clean that marketplace like with broomstick. He used to take. Uh, He used to go to every house, every house. But the jharu da, the person he cleans. Bhakti Vinod Thakur he cleans this place. So this uh, marketplace of holy names, Bhakti Vinod Thakur wanted to be the bro, wanted to clean the marketplace. Meaning, like everybody tries to chant holy name, but not possible to chant pure holy names. because nama prad is there nama paz all these things are explained by him and shuddh naam is there when the jiva when they are if they are not free from nama prad then they nama bas will not happen so if we have nama bas again and again and again then all our sins and offenses get destroyed in this process before after nama bas and if we have a sadhu sangha sat sangha with this the you when you chant holy names in association of sadhu that's holy name chanting is called chanting pure holy name so the name for this regard bhakti vinod thakur came here and did bhajan and sadhan we go to that place also it's called surbi konja there bhakti vinod thakur did bhajan and bhakti vinod thakur he did bhajan in some and he manifested this place of mahaprabhu gaur dham gaur naam he established the glories of the place of gaur naam and gaur dham for this regard bhakti vinod thakur appeared all these we heard and we know about this 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 place is very very divine transcendental markandi rishi he received the benediction for seven kalpas he would live for seven kalpa but one kalpa means one day of brahma is one kalpa so seven kalpa satat treta dwapar kali 
So they, when they rotate in cycle 1000 times, then it is one day of Brahma, which is equal to one Kalpa. But, and multiply this by seven. So now it's seven Kalpas. So can you calculate how many millions of years it is? So he received this benediction. Then Mahaprabhu, Brahma, the age of Brahma is called Satavarsha. And after the age of Brahma ends, then the Pralai comes, like natural disaster. But disaster comes and everything is destroyed. Destruction happens. And one is Nitya Pralai, Khanda Pralai, and one is Atyantiki Pralai, like different different types of big big natural disasters coming for destruction. But Markandi Rishi, when the biggest destruction was about to happen, in that one, it was raining like heavy, heavy, like it was raining like a big elephant is throwing down water on all of it. And everyone was covered with water. But in scriptures, it is explained this Navadip Dham, the place of God, abode of God, it did not get destroyed during that biggest destruction of the universe. Markandi Rishi, when the heavy it was raining heavily and uh, there was tsunamis coming at that then Markandi Rishi with his hand he lifted up this dham and protected this Markandi Rishi he came here and he took rest you no know, so Markandi Rishi was uh, he came here to take rest there are so many glories of this place the time is almost up it's a divine transcendental place. We come, we come here and we sh must pray to Gaur Sundar that he must give us his mercy so we can realize the glories of this place in our heart. And when we do Naam and Bhajan slowly, slowly everything will manifest. The Ashtakalya Leelas of Radha and Krishna, all the beautiful pastimes of Gaur Sundar. Bhaktivinoda Thakur, he manifested all these things beautiful, beautifully. There is the Ashtakali Leela of Gauru Sundar. We should study these scriptures manifested by these great Acharyas and then we can realize what are the glories of this place.